we are having one of the unique graduations today in which people who have been taught that cannot be able to access education because one, they had challenges, natural challenges that could be medical, they had natural challenges that could be poverty, they had challenges that could be learning and difficult learning styles. Today, because we have anthropobiometric machines, we are able to extract human metric values and be able to place people in programs that they can manage. So we put people, for example musicians, on dry riverbeds where they can record their music. We put artists on programs where they can draw and produce facts. We put adults that probably drop out in class two or form two, but have been able to put up big companies that employ graduates from our traditional universities. Yet when they want to go to the university, they're told they're not qualified. Today we are going to witness people who have life and work experience which have been evaluated and equated to course units and exemptions and did a few projects and been able to graduate today from top international universities under UNESCO, Lorette and Ivy League universities in the world. Um, as a highlight of some of the people graduating today, we have one young man known as Godfrey Mwai who was born with growth hormone deficiency that made the parents sell their own house to make sure that he could get growth hormones to grow. He was sent one to a show and he couldn't return back. And today, after what we've done through the professional segment for talent, we're able to find that he could be able to use his right upper side of the brain, the brain known as the volcanic brain. That's the brain of the artist, the brain of the platform, like the musicians. Today, Mwai, after six years, is able to graduate with a bachelor's degree. But above the degree, what's important for them and the, as a family is that Mwai is independent, is able to do his own things on his own, and is able to fend for himself. Somebody who could not fit in any learning institution in Kenya. Another case is one known as Keno Keno. Keno Keno was brought to, was brought to me as a young 12 year old who could not fit in any academic system because um, he knows everything, but when it comes to exam, he loses it all. He can't write exams. And this problem was learning and product styles, which we don't deal with in our normal traditional education systems. There are people who have unique learning and assessment skills, and he was one of them. We assessed him, we found him, and we wrote his prescription and put him on program that he can manage. Kane, at just age 17, is graduating with a bachelor's degree in sports and journalism. We do also have adults. We have one person who came from a lot of poor background. He's known as Joseph Moya. Joseph Moya came from Sasambu in Naivasha and is now grown to be the one who owns the Neknakuru Lodge. This is a man with immense experience, has brought up a lot of people, met so many people. And this is how we waste. This is a man that we need to celebrate, that we need to expand, to give opportunity to inspire others. We are glad that we are able to do that in our present time in this country on this continent.